Hello everyone, we're going to go over a multiple choice question about macromolecules. A scientist discovers a molecule that has elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in a 1 to 2 to 1 ratio and contains many hydroxyl groups. Which function would this molecule most likely serve in a cell? So again, before I even get to the answers, I'm going to try to reason through this question and try to just figure out what it's asking. So the first thing I'm noticing is that this molecule is only made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. This means that it can't be nucleic acids and it can't be a protein because those have other elements. So we're down to either a lipid or we're down to a carbohydrate. The big key factor here that I'm seeing or the big characteristic that's really identifying which one of those two it is, is the one to two to one ratio. Carbohydrates come in that one to two one ratio. And they also state here that the hydroxyl groups or there are many hydroxyl groups in these in this molecule. An hydroxyl group is an OH group, and we typically find a lot of these in carbohydrates. So I'm gonna think about what is the main goal of carbohydrates in our bodies? And that's a short-term fuel source. It can be somewhat longer term with like glycogen, but mostly when we eat these carbohydrates, we're using them for energy. So with that being said, let's go through the answers. A, catalyzing reactions to speed up cellular metabolism. Nope, those are proteins. That is not the answer. B, long-term energy storage within adipose, adipose tissues. That sounds like something we were talking about, but it's saying long-term, so I don't think that's it. I'm gonna keep this here just to see if there aren't any better answers, but I don't think this one is it. Short-term energy storage and quick energy release. I like C so far, so I'm gonna put a little line under it. D, encoding hereditary information in the nucleus. That is nucleic acids. Nope, we're not gonna go with that one providing structure to the cell membranes and cell walls. That is also not what we're talking about. So again, we're between B and C, but I'm gonna go with C since we talked about it before and I feel more confident and yes, this is the right answer.